हेलो स्टूडेंट्स गुड टाइम टू ऑल आई एम चंदन कुमार प्रधान वेलकम टू यूर यूट्यूब चैनल चंदन फिजिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फेज स्पेस लेट्स वेगेन इन थर्मोडाइनमिक्स वी आर डीलिंग विथ बेसिकली टू टाइप्स ऑफ सिस्टम्स वन इज स्टैटिक सिस्टम एंड अनदर वन इज डायनामिक सिस्टम लेट वी कंसिडर ए स्टैटिक सिस्टम in that uh, static system there are n number of particles this n number of particles are distributed in a volume that is v volume of that of system as it's a static system the particles are at rest and it has uh, a fixed position when we represent it in three dimensional space the position of a particle can be determined by three position coordinates if we take uh, a particle then in three dimension the position of that of particle p having the coordinates x y z it has three position coordinates x y z so uh, type of space is called position space if uh, the system consists of n number of particles then we can get a complete information about that static system if we know 3 into n that is 3 uh, n number of coordinates similarly if we consider a dynamic system in a dynamic system the particles are in motion in random directions and these particles 
are moving with different velocities and hence it has linear momentum. In a three dimensional space, the momentum of uh, a particle can be determined by three momentum coordinates. Again, let we consider a particle as Q. in three dimensional space the particle q has three momentum coordinates named as px py pz in three dimensional such type of space is called momentum space So, by using position space, we can study detail of that uh, position of particles and again by studying the momentum space, what uh, be the momentum of uh, these particles, we can easily study it. In order to have a complete knowledge about the position and momentum of a particle at any instant, we need its three position coordinates and three momentum coordinates, three position coordinates x, y, z. and three momentum coordinates px py pz in total it has six number of coordinates three position coordinates and three momentum coordinate overall it has six coordinates and such a space in which six number of coordinates required three position coordinates and the three momentum coordinates that space combiningly we called phase space how we define phase space a phase space is a combination of position space and momentum space. And it has a six dimensional space 
it has a six dimensional space take an example example uh, if a dynamic system consists of n particles so we need 6 into n that is 6 n number of coordinates in phase space for a complete information about the position and the momentum of its particles at any instant a complete information about the position and momentum of its particles the particles present at the dynamic system at any instant next how we calculate what uh, be the total number of cells present uh, in a particular phase space the total number of cells in phase space let that uh, phase space is uh, divided into a large number of cells so what be the number of these cells it is calculated as the total volume in that of phase space total volume in phase space divided by volume of an elementary cell volume of an elementary cell so the total volume that is the volume of position space into the volume of momentum space the volume of uh, position space in x that is the integration of dx in y integration of dy in z integration of dz again for momentum in p x that is integration of p x in y integration over p y in z integration over p z divided by volume of an elementary cell position volume d x d y d z for momentum volume it is d p x d p y d p z is equal to that is the volume integration in position triple integration d x d y d z volume integration in momentum triple integration these are d p x d p x d p y d p z is d p x d p y d p z divided by 
the elementary volume that is the volume of position space into the volume of uh, momentum space d tau this is the volume of position space that the total volume of that of position space v volume of that of momentum space in total let that is sigma divided by d tau d tau is the volume of an elementary cell the total volume total number of cells in phase space so here with the help of this video lecture we understand the concept of uh, phase space what is a phase space the combination of position space and momentum space is called phase space it has a six dimensional space that is uh, three position coordinate and three momentum coordinates in this way it is required six number of coordinates example if a dynamic system consists of n particles so we need six into n that is six n coordinates in phase space for a complete information about the position and momentum for position it is required three n coordinates for momentum it is required again three n coordinates so overall the total number of coordinates three n plus three n that is six n number of coordinates for complete information about position and momentum of its particles at any instant what will be the total number of cells in that of phase space and the total number of phase space divided by volume of an elementary cell and we obtain total volume in phase space that is the volume of position space into the volume of momentum space divided by the volume of an elementary shell d tau so with this useful and informative notes let me wind up the session thank you